Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at MyMind.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at five free tweaks that you need to check out. First one we're going to be looking at, Customize LS. This allows you to turn things on and off on the lock screen such as the time, slide to unlock, the date, the chevron, anything you don't want to look at, the, the notification grabber, the camera grabber, all of that can be turned off simply by using this tweak, Customize LS. Here's a list of the items you can hide. Uh, clock, status bar, LS blur, tent, battery charging image, CC grabber, NC grabber, and you can turn on the turn the time on in the status bar. You can even add a custom text under the slide to unlock. And let me show you where that's at. It's right there. See the what? I put that there by by writing that in there in that little slot right there. Customize LS, guys. You may be wondering what's going on with my springboard, guys. It's called Glowboard, and Glowboard is a free tweak too, and it puts a tent around your icons that are running in the background it does all sorts of different things here and let me show you just exactly what i mean and if we go in here you'll see that it applies a glow to the apps that are running apps that have notifications and icons that have a numerical badge in addition apps with pending notifications will pulse slightly so that's the reason why you see my mail icon jumping and the pulsating App Store and Cydia. They don't jump around in the springboard, but if they were on the dock, they would bounce like that. So that's why that's bouncing. The ones with badge notifications are the ones that you see moving. And you can see that they have a colored tint around all the ones that's running in the background. And you can change that up if you want to change that to a different color. That can be done. Here's your colors, active colors. Anything listed here, you can change that to. And I'm not sure if it requires, and it does require a respring, it says. So you can change up the colors, all the different things you want to do just by changing the settings in there. The next one we're going to look at is called Swipe Expander. This is one of my favorite tweaks, guys, and it's in beta right now, so it's free, but I'm sure it'll be paid tweak very soon. <clears throat> this guy, what he's done, he's added 52 extra shortcuts to your keyboard. And if we go in here, and the pink has nothing to do with this particular tweak, I'll talk more about that just in a minute. Swipe expander. If you swipe up or swipe down on a key, that's two separate shortcuts. So I have iPhone Captain logo or URL for swiping up on the I key. So if we go to the I key again and swipe up, you see we get the iPhone Captain URL. And it's pretty handy to say the least. How many times a day do you type your email address or something like that and then if you swipe down on it it's a select all and all you have to do is hit the backspace and it clears everything on this page pretty cool tweak guys swipe expander it's an awesome tweak one you will really enjoy using and getting to learn how and, and learning how to use randomly colorizes your ios 7 user interface that's what you were seeing whenever I was in here in the keyboard. Now it's purple. If you sit there long enough, it's going to change colors again. See, now it looks gray and it's turning into a green. So there's all sorts of different. There it is, green. And if you sit here long enough, you know, it'll change again. Now you can change that duration right here by going to randomly. And if there's any icon, like if we didn't want it to change, to dis uh, to change the color of the keyboard or some something like that, we could come while we were in the notes app. We could come in here and flip this on, and then when we go to the notes app, now it won't cut. It won't work in here. 
but it looks like it does require a respring before you can disable stuff. But these are the, your settings, and if you wanted to increase the, the, the transition, make it to uh, change faster, all you have to do is just drop that number. Now it will change much faster, and the color transition delay is already at one second, so that's about as low as you can go. And right here, you can change up different things. You can change the folder icon blur too here if you want to fiddle around with the hardness and the 10 opacity on that that's going to be left up to you global blur opacity if you want to increase that all the way up randomization you can increase all that and then it would would require a respring for you to be able to pick up all those new settings that you just put in there so we'll see what it looks like when we come back okay you see we got that little slide to unlock there we got a little bit of a tent under that now if we go in here we should be able to go into the notes app and hit not and it and it doesn't work see we disabled it for the notes app so see that does work now the duration should be a lot faster everything should should change a lot quicker and all that whenever you're inside of the uh, ui here even inside safari you'll see you'll get you're getting some some changes in here as well and it just works awesome guys the last one we're going to look at is called hud speed and what hud speed does guys is it increases and decreases your hud speed whenever you turn it on and turn it off it's how long that hud is going to stay on the screen okay so let's go in here to hud speed and let me show you what it looks like right here's hud speed it says it speeds up the hud fade out which is way too slow for my taste you can configure it under the settings by going to HUD speed right here and you see right now it's enabled to a three so if you turn it down on zero let's see what happens then so now if we turn it on the HUD speed it's not staying on very long but that tweak that we got installed is probably messing this one up all right now let's try our HUD speed out whenever we push it on see it goes off immediately because we have it set down as almost as low as it'll go. So if we turn that up, that's going to slow that HUD down. So now when we turn it on, it's going to stay on the screen longer. And you see it takes it longer to fade out. The farther up we move that slider to the right, the longer it stays on. If we move it all the way down, as soon as we release it, it's going to go off. It's not going to have a, a time and it stays on there. So there's the 1.6 second duration. Guys, that's called HUD Speed. There's five cool tweaks. Check them out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these videos. And keep coming back.